Let's get into today's question, which comes to us from Ali M. Ali M is writing about her boyfriend who is addicted to drug and alcohol. She asks, how can I maintain my vibrational state of mind while being worried about this other person and his health? And how can I offer help without being judgmental? Well, Ali, I want you to know that this is actually a great question because the reality is that so many of us are sharing our time and also sharing our space with people who are of a lower vibration and that vibration is affecting us. Anytime two energies come into contact with each other, for example, you and your boyfriend, both energies are always impacted by the energy of the other person. This means that the vibration of your boyfriend absolutely does change who you are. And it's always the stronger vibration, Ali, that makes the more substantial change to the lesser vibration. And so if your boyfriend's energy is really strong while at the same time being low vibration, and I have to tell you, intoxicated energy is low vibration, you have to be really clear about what that's doing to you. That is damaging who it is that you are. Now, you sent me a picture of you and your boyfriend, and I thank you for that because that really did help me to hook into what's going on in the situation. And I will say that your boyfriend's energy is quite strong. And I would say that while you you, are, you have your own strong energy, you are impacted quite a lot because the intoxication and because that low frequency is all around you when you spend time with this person. And so, again, be very clear. You are being changed by this relationship with your boyfriend. Now, that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. In fact, a lot of us are stuck in these situations, just as I said. But for people like you, Ali, you really need to make sure that you are being super proactive with your energetic hygiene. And what I mean very specifically is that you are taking care of yourself. That you are doing those things in your life to hook into high vibration energy. You're talking about a high vibration state of mind. And it's really not just a state of mind. It's your whole being. I often say we walk around in a sphere or a grid. And within that grid is contained everything about us. Everything that we've been through. Everything that we're currently going through. Our timelines. Our angels. Like all of it is in this energy. But this energy is vibrating. It has a frequency. And when we're in a situation that's doing damage to us, and when our energy or our sphere, our grid is out of alignment, we are broadcasting this misalignment into the universe. When we broadcast misalignment or when we broadcast intoxication or when we broadcast anger and fear and all these other low vibration energies... We guarantee that we attract more of the same back into our life. And so with your situation, unless your boyfriend chooses to get help and chooses to get sober, you're going to be in a current of energy that originates from him but saturates who it is that you are. You're going to be in that flow and that is going to be attracting to you more problems and more issues. My personal recommendation to you, Ali, is that I would, I would love if you could reevaluate what you're doing. To yourself. A lot of us think we're stuck, don't we? We think we're stuck in issues and stuck with people, but we're not stuck. We always have access to liberation and to freedom and to higher consciousness and to connection with spirit. The hardest thing for spiritual people to do, I really believe, is to love themselves first, is to take care of themselves first, is to be protective of their grid, of their energy, of their sacred spaces. But spiritual people are so often givers, right? We're living on the right side of the brain and we're feeling and we're sensing and we don't really always pay attention to that which is harming us. But this is harming you. This is a problem for you. This is delaying your progress. This is keeping you from opening to a full extent your consciousness, your awareness, and achieving a higher state of enlightenment. And so you need to be clear that you're making a choice at this point to do this to yourself. 
And also be very clear that you're not helping the situation if he's not changing, if he's not motivated to change for you or for a healthier life or for himself, first and foremost, then you are not helping. You're not making it better for him. Energetically speaking, you're enabling him. And the reason you're judgmental is not because, you know, you're a judgmental person. It's actually a spiritual and energetic tension that is happening inside of you. There is a resistance by your soul and your spirit to be in this situation any longer. It presents to you like something that feels like judgment, but you're just getting angry. You're sick of it. You're tired of it. You want more for yourself. At the very least, your soul wants more for who it is that you are. And by not honoring the call of the soul and by not doing what you know you ought to do to heal yourself first, this judgmental nature, which again is just the tension of the spirit with the choices that you're making, is just going to get worse. Allie, you can't want somebody to be healthy more than they want to be healthy. You cannot want somebody to be healed more than they want to be healed. You can only ever control yourself and how you think and how you develop and if you stay in this relationship, you really must take energetic hygiene so very seriously. So meditation, getting out in nature, standing on the ground in the grass with bare feet so you can run that high vibration earth energy, being in the sunshine, playing with happy animals, being around wonderful people, eating in a high vibration way, getting enough water which helps the body run and distribute and assimilate the energy. All of these things are ways that you can take care of your energy and all of these things are your top priority it's not the boyfriend it's not the relationship it's not the love it's you when you focus on yourself when you clean up what's wrong or what's in dissonance in terms of your vibration then the entire life changes now I'm not sure that that's really what you wanted to hear but that's definitely what spirit wanted to tell you and I ask that you sit with this for a little while really contemplate it ruminate on it ruminating is just when you think in a room by the way lol just joking but I, I just a little levity here but just really think about it think about what this is doing to you and to your life I want to thank you, Allie, for submitting that awesome question because I know 100% down to my toes that there are other people out there who can really benefit from that answer. And if you have a question of a spiritual or metaphysical or personal nature that you would like me to answer or to take to spirit so spirit can directly answer, then once again, write me at TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. That's TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAnnCompton.com. Heads up though, that email is absolutely going to change because it doesn't make any sense and it applies to a different thing but for now tuesday questions at crystallandcompton.com that's where you'll find me thanks everybody for listening and i hope that you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today